another game, another video. Dragon! I uh, hear another walking simulator. Some that type of guy. Let's get right to it. Babushka. Alright, loading, loading, loading. Day one. The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me- Edward! Edward Charles Harden, Esquire! Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Ah, oh, piffle and phonus balonus, teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll Hold behave. Zoom. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone for the bean. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in, uh, what did you call this village? Gravewick? Gravik. Gravik? Gravik. Um, yes, Gravik. I do. Why here? What's so special about Greywoke? She never said, but knowing my sister, something drew her here. Sister? But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about- but that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Oh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss Perfect. Alice, you're talking about my sister. <laughs> my sister. I'm sorry. Elizabeth Sadarb, we all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear. Edward. We will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way just to chase no her way. down. No way. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. Old <sighs> fruit. Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful and beautiful and so desolate. So like cinematic. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can't you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. How about you take over, Alice? <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Oh. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it. Because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. What intro. <laughs> it's so quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. No feet. The Fretland okay. farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? I believe Over it's there. that farmhouse. Okay. All the way at the top. Hot dog! I can left click to interact. Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk. Wait. Hmm. The ground's muddy. It's easy to slip and fall. Walk slowly and watch <laughs> out don't for. Don't be a wet blanket. A little mud never hurt anyone. Fine. Just. Stay close. Stay as long close. As you keep up with me. Ugh. Ugh. Dear Mr. Harden. Dear Mr. Harden. We would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Uh, Trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. 
no news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. I'm here. Where are you? 1923. Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? It's a mystery. Also sprach Zarathustra. Svotsa. On my way. Right oh. Step to it, Teddy Bear. Nicholas Bolton is Edward. Where are you, Lissy? I'm up at the farm. Sky Bennett as Alice. Rest. Oh. Are you coming? Just taking a break. All right, all right. Can't run in here. Drog. Dragon. It's not rest. Ah, we got it. We got it. It's like a movie intro. Interesting. My tire, old boy. Oh my god, Edward's just like huffing and puffing, rest a little. How heavy is this? It was Charles Harden, I'm waiting for you. I forgot her name again. This lady. Coming, I'm coming. I'm resting here. Put it to the fence, really. Seriously? You're not the one carrying a bloody suitcase. suitcase. Ragnar Lock Block. Ragnar Torn Quest. What took you so long? I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Old sport? Did you see the flag? It's at half mast. Someone died. Oh, damn. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? Up in the mountains, maybe. Herding goats? Are they goat herders? I took them more for fisher folk. The rain's picking up. We should get indoors. You first, old bean. How old am I? Jeez. Knock knock. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. The American. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. 
It's not a crime if you're invited. I'm coming in. This is uh, this is Mr. Harden. Knock knock. Hello. Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? Excuse me. I'm a guest. Why would I start poking around every corner of the house? I don't know. Maybe they're playing hide and go seek. Well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. It's creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. Be a sitting room on this floor. Hmm. This one. Oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. Thanks, Proust. Am I gonna click on them? Look! Family pictures. They must be the, uh, what did you call them? Wait, is that? Are they? It, who's? They're all twins. All of them. Oh, damn. That's Johan and Anna Fredland. There are two of each, Edward. Two of each. Frederick and Margaret. Twins marrying twins. Twins marrying <laughs> twins. My mind's reeling. This is just too adorable. May 26th, 1899. We'll be celebrating their silver anniversary next year. Our hosts. Our hosts. No, silly. Their names. Johan and Anna Fretland. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johan Fretland, master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? Master it's of the 1923, house. It's 1923, Teddy old boy. Women can vote. Teddy old boy. Uh, the daughter. I'm guessing their daughter is the master of this house. She's cute as a button. I can't wait to meet her. She's guaranteed to be more fun than you. Johan Fretland? Old Johan's a bit wooden, isn't he? Like someone put a stick They're up, his, for a up his rear end. They're posing for a photograph. I say, loosen up, Johan! I'm sure you two stiffs will get along famously. Anna Johan Fretland. Johan went and found himself a delectable bride. Alice. Please. Alice. What can I say? She's a minx. Anna Fretland is a respectable woman. Her letter was courteous and professional. Didn't you say she was a city girl? It must have been awfully hard to adjust to life in the sticks. I can relate. Hanover isn't the sticks. Says you. That's about it. Betty might be with the Fretlands, wherever they are. Wouldn't whatever Anna Fretland are. have written you? She might have. We left Hanover a month ago. Sis. Dear Mrs. Fretland, I trust this letter finds you and your husband in good health. I wrote to inform them about when I home feels very far away. Hanover? Are we feeling melancholy again? I've never been this far from melancholy. Hanover. It's about time we got you out of that dreary old house, Teddy Bear. I asked about Elizabeth. And they hadn't seen her? Anna, Mrs. Fretland promised she'd write if she heard anything. There wouldn't be many female reporters from New York and Western Norway. Why would she come here in the first place? Betty always has her reasons. Oh, the I SS. Of boarding that infernal ocean liner again. I quite enjoyed it. So much room for exploration and mischief. So many opportunities for seasickness and claustrophobia. Ah, uh, don't be a Debbie Downer. I'm sure your tummy will be better behaved on the return voyage. And you'll be craving enclosed spaces after a week in this wide open wilderness. I like the way she Where talks. Where do you think they've gone? It's the Fretlands. The Fretlands, the Hansons, the Jensons, all of them. I'm sure they'll be back soon. It's like a, a book. dead land. As though its soul has departed. What are you looking at there? A book. Strange place for a book. Unless it was a terrible book that deserved a good burning. What's the title? The cover is charred. Christmas 1922. To Ruth. From Simon. From Simon. Why would someone burn this? Like I said, maybe it was a terrible book. Is Simon one of the Freddy Landers? I don't think so. 
They only have the one daughter. Hmm. Did you hear something? No. Huh. Must be the wind under the door. Or the churning sea. Or the interminable rain. Or flesh-eating ghouls waiting to pounce. Alice, honestly. You're the one who reads Poe to me. Don't blame me for having an active imagination. Uh. Oh, well, uh, I can see the whole village, village from up here. Do you want to go sightseeing? Tomorrow. It's getting late, and the rain's not abating. It's really coming down. How about a quick run in the rain? You can't be serious. Can't You're be already serious. a wet blanket, teddy bear. It's not like you'll get any wetter. We must stick together, Alice. All right. Wait, what's this? Tragic Joel, no accident two. befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers, including Arna Fretland, Frederick and Johann's younger brother. That's awful. How old was he? Uh, nineteen. <sighs> so young. Operations were suspended after the accident. Johann Fretland exits Fretland Brothers Mining Company. So the brothers parted ways? Johann sold his share to focus on farming. Well, that must have put a damper on their relationship. 1902. It's all up in the same Foreign year. Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's Mining Company. Dire financial consequences for Fretland, who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johann Fretland pulled out earlier this year. Johann was smart to exit when he did. The timing is curious. Like he knew something was about to go awry. Awry. That's old words. Look. Oh, okay. Oof, that's a grim sight, old bean. Old bean? I'm exhausted and soaked to the bone. Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only courteous. Unless they don't come back. Oh Betty. my god. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. That's, That's Betty's all. scarf. I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just bought it in like Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When Christmas she came home before that year, last. She off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No. I'm. You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Look, it is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward, really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. Hopes I up? I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not uh. right, I'm telling you. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. As long as you're here, Alice, Sit nothing down. can happen. That's an order from your commander. Oh, yes. commander. Fine. I just need to, to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. Not closing my eyes. It's a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill? Well, what if the fretlands... I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down, close your eyes, breathe deeply. I'm just... If they come home... <sighs> Feeling some chills. Why is it getting dark all of a sudden? Like, it's getting scary, but not really. Elizabeth? Is that you? 
Alice? Oh my god. Alice? Betty? Lissy? Lissy, are you here? <sighs> Where Lizzie? are you, Lissy? Oh, her name is Lizzie, not Alice. Oh my god, I was a freaking weeping Wait. angel. Lissy? Lissy, there's someone outside. It might be Betty. Are you here, Lissy? I don't want to go out there. Are you in here, Lissy? Lizzie! Alice? Alice? Where are you, Lizzie? Why does it keep changing her name? Who's out there? Hello? Can I go back Eddie? in? I made a mistake. Lizzie? Oh my god. I'm not alone. I am not alone. Bruh, is this like a mist? Open. That was the wind, obviously. I can hear you. Ravens. I can jog. It's a good thing I turned my light on. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Who goes there? Wait! Who goes there? Smart idea, dude. Chasing this person, this it. Grab that axe. Someone there? Oh my god. Climb? Like, hop over? What the heck? Ooh. Hello? It's a goat. Betty, is th are you there, Betty? Betty! Lizzie! Uh, Alice! Uh, oh. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, 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 uh. Shit. My glasses. Oh dear. Oh, is that gonna be like Elizabeth, a, are you there? It's like gonna be like a vision thing where if I lose my glasses, I'm gonna be blind. I mean, you do, but fishing people. The boat, Edward. Where's our boat? Lizzie. Lizzie. A boat. Where did you go? Why did you leave me? It stopped raining and you were sleeping and our boat, it's gone. The boat what? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. Oh you I did. It up. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but did you see Betty? Did I see what are you talking about? I think Betty. It was Betty. I. It was Betty. It was her. It must have been her. You're seeing stuff. I saw her face Edward. in the and, and she vanished into the dark towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her? And yes. Not. I. I mean, I saw her face and it looked like her. Well, if it was her. Why did she run away? I don't... I don't know. It's getting dark. 
Back to the house. And tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. We figure it out. Right now, let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. Yep. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Come on. As long as Lizzie or Alice, whatever what her name is, is with me. Day two. I was on your MySpace, looking how our times changed, looking how we used to be. One step for us, two step back, love you, yeah, you hated me. Please don't go, babe, no. Please don't leave me alone. Oh, oh. You gonna leave me alone.